Come on, come on. Is this the fountain of youth? Do you believe that the fountain of youth really exists? Do you believe that the ancient buildings on the cliff were built by gods? Provide clues according to the old man. That one is said to have been built by gods. They say this was built by gods. Why? Gods are humans too. That position. I came to the cliffs deep in the mountains of Buiju. Find the location of the fountain of youth in the fairy cave. Do you think we can really find the fountain of youth today? Isn't that what the old man said? I think I can definitely find it. That fairy cave is right in the direction of my finger. It's only more than 300 meters away from me. Now let's go inside and find out. Go out. I was just in that place. Saw so this village. It took us more than two hours to fly to the entrance of the cave. We can see that. There is a circular stone arch above this. There is a very neat city wall here. On the left side of the city wall is a circular arch. It looks very neatly built. The local old man said that this village was built by gods. Now let's go in and take a look at the village. What kind of sophisticated construction work was used? Look at this stone again. It has become one with the mountain. Look again, there is Sanha soil in the middle of this scene. There are obviously people on this one. This is how you touch and sew with your hands. Just show. This legend about being built by gods may be false. Look at this city gate again. There are three fan-shaped stones on it. Door arch. Door frame below. It uses two rectangular strips of stone. Stand up. There are steps in front of this. But the steps are now destroyed. It's possible that the rock from above collapsed. Destroyed this place. Let's go inside the village now. Go find out. Mainly to explore the inside of this fairy cave. Furu Jinsen. This is obviously a bandit cave. Or is it the landlord's cave? What god built it? You see, there is a bolt hole here. There's also this below. This should be a double stone door. It's half blocked here. Half blocked. In the direction of Huamaya, there are very sophisticated city walls. We can see this wall. It is about 50 centimeters thick. Very neatly built. This. There is a platform built on top of the stone arch at the entrance. There should have been a house above this. Precision construction work. This should be a bandit village. Or the landlord's treasure cave. It is said. There is a cave in that direction of this village. Inside the cave. There is a divine fountain of youth. It's really hot up here. Because this is facing the west. That western sun is too hot. By this time in the afternoon. The sun is shining on top. No shady place. Look. This city wall is almost 60 centimeters wide. Both sides were tamped with a generous filling in the middle. This village was built at that time. It also took a lot of effort. Locals say it was built overnight. How is this possible? Why is there a city wall here? And the city wall. This is the inner room of this village. We can see this wall. It's about 1.5 meters thick. It's also a flat surface made on both sides. There are holes in it, right? This should be done with a higher level. You see there are corresponding stone holes inside. There should be several layers here. Look at that stone wall. It looks like a hornet's nest. So many holes. Wow. It's so spectacular to see from here. That mysterious cave. Just in that direction. Wild goat poop here. Wild goat dung. The beans are big. Yes. There is a stove here. Didn't you see that there is still a heart in the heart? The modeling soil is red. Stove heart ancient stove. This is a... Is this a salt beater? There are a lot of bird feathers here. It should be an eagle. The bird that came in. Inside. Having eaten. There is a cool breeze here. It's coming. The tunnel inside here should be quite shallow. The wind is not very strong. The fountain of youth that the old man mentioned is in this cave. Come on, let's go in and look for the fountain of youth now. Is this the fountain of youth? The fountain of youth has dried up. The cave hall here is not big. Almost more than 20 meters wide. 3 or 4 meters high. Xiao Bei, Xiao Bei, come on. Discovered the fountain of youth. Look at this, it's the legendary fountain of youth. Siabe was very busy just now. Water seeping from stalactites. Where is this stalactite? It happened to form such a very square spring. It's amazing.
Sweet and delicious. But it is not recommended for everyone to drink this directly, because this is the water that seeps out of the mid-milk stone. What if we talk about it from a scientific point of view? It is hard water. Hard water contains more calcium. Drinking it can easily lead to stones. Okay, let's not talk much at this time. Continue to move deeper into the cave. Take a look at what other relics are hidden inside. We started right in front of Huamaya. There is also a pool. There is also a pool in the direction facing the sun. Over here. This is the fountain of youth we just saw. Just behind this mid-milk stone. This is an equilateral triangle arranged like this. Three pools. Two of the pools have dried up. Over there is the entrance of the cave after entering. Almost more than 200 square meters. I don't know if the cave inside is deep or not. Over here. There is a cloud basin. The cloud basin is already dry. Nothing found here. More mame buildings. These are the three pools. It feels very mysterious. Over there. Let's go look for it again to see if there is any cave. Go further. You can see the cave entrance here. Let's take a look inside. Where did it lead to? There is a crack. There is a crack going down. Take a look. Take a look. This crack feels quite deep. Let's see if we want to go down here and explore. Now I'm protected. Let's look over here. There is a crack underneath this. The crack is not deep, maybe 5 meters deep. It's over now. You can vaguely see some bones underneath. What about this one? It's a cave. I don't know how deep that cave is. At this time, we decided to go up and have a look. Walk, keep going. I just came from here. We can see there is a tunnel in front of this. But now the stalactites have sealed it. Can't make it through. It feels like only more than 10 centimeters high. This one has jade stalactites on it. Very beautiful. The tunnel going up here. Can't go up. Very narrow. That is to say, this. It's the deepest part of the immortal cave. We measured it from inside this hole. Not many man-made remains were found inside. I also found some stones. This is three mouths. The well arranged in an equilateral triangle. This legend of the fountain of youth. Not very credible. Maybe it was someone who was doing sales here at that time. Because water is needed to survive. There is a well dug on top of that stalactite. Just for sales. From the three large saltwater ponds at this door. Can support my conjecture. Then again, I analyze this person who is a big spender. What about the group of people who built this fairy village? Not from the same era. It is possible that this village is even older. What about the people who came later? Come inside the village. I saw a small cave here. Then we did some digging inside. Bring the saltpeter inside to the entrance of this cave. Refining. Refining saltpeter powder. The overall situation is almost like this. So this fairy cave. I've heard the old man's legend. I thought it was quite mysterious at the time. But come over and take a look. Indeed, it is nothing more than this. Just an ordinary bandit village. Or the landlord's village. Okay, so this video ends here. Follow me to take you to experience a different adventure. Let me reveal more bizarre legends to you. Goodbye. Bye -bye.